Buenas tardes, mi amigas, mi amigos de Bethel Lutheran. It's good to see you today. Uh, we're happy to be with you and uh, to bring some greetings and hopefully give you some information that'll be helpful for you as you go through this week. And Amanda said she really wanted to go first, so we're letting her go first. Amanda. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say, with the announcement yesterday of the extension of Shelter in Place uh, until May 30th, um, I, I know I had uh, different feelings about it, and I'm sure um, all of us do. And I just really would like to encourage you and just really, if you just need to talk to someone, please do that. Um, and just remember that we all here right here are for you. We're here for you. And you can find our information on the website of how to contact us. And we're here to listen. So please reach out to us if you need to do that. And we're thinking about all of you. Thank you very much, Amanda. Um, Elise, talk to us. Hi. So today I have an Earth Day limerick that I wrote this is on her birthday from last week, April 22nd. It's a four limerick, so hang in there. <laughs> there once was a town named Pertino where the air was really a stinko. Smog and pollution, people wanted solution, but no one knew what to think of. Then a guy named Corona came to town. He looked up, over, and around. His sneeze it did leave a change well conceived. It made the people be all locked down. Longer could they gather and play, yeah. only together all day, ordering food, all doing Zoom, and keeping others six feet away. The moral of this story is complete. Together, life can be quite sweet. Just use gas less, clean up your mess, and life on Earth can be quite a treat. Thank you so much. That is awesome. I'm going to hire you for my next party for sure. That's great. Speaking of party hats, Farah. Hi, everyone. I'm wearing a birthday hat in honor of Pastor Don's birthday, which uh, was last week. What? Yes, oh. Pastor Don had a birthday. So happy birthday, Pastor Don, from everyone. And I just wanted to, um, you might have seen in the e-newsletter that council approved last week that Bethel received the payroll protection program loan under the CARES Act. And um, I've been working with our bank, Heritage Bank of Commerce, and they have um, given us that loan. And we will be able to use that for payroll purposes over the next two months. And if we show that that's what it's used for, then it's, uh, that lays the ground for loan forgiveness so that we don't actually have to take that pay that loan back. And that's going to help us uh, as we get through this really difficult time of shelter in place. And we've been able to keep our staff, very small, critical staff together. And we're really thankful for that. So um, everyone have a good week. Thank you. Thanks for that good news, Farah. Pastor Don sporting quite a hat right there, Mr. Birthday Boy. Well, this is a hat from Tanzania. So greetings from Tanzania. Uh, so Anyway, just uh, along with what's been said already, I want to remind everyone to uh, keep in touch. Um, I know many are feeling stressful. We're kind of uh, getting used to this, but yet when it's extended another month, it uh, stretches it out. We're hoping to be able to get out and around a little bit anyway. So um, be sure to call any one of us or text us or email or let us know if you want us to call back. So uh, in mind, uh, I want you to remember tomorrow evening, Wednesday evening at seven o'clock is time spent with me and we will uh, pick up on some topics that are of interest and uh, time for you to share concerns that you might have as well. And I just remembered I also posted, uh, I think it's been posted, uh, some hours when I specifically will be not far away from the phone or maybe didn't get posted yet, but uh, from 10 to 12 on Tuesday and Thursday. So I'll use those times if you uh, want to call and just take whatever time to talk about anything that's, that's uh, you're thinking about. Us. So uh, I think with that in mind, oh, next week, see, I never quite get finished, do I? Next <laughs> next week, we'll put out some uh, a reminder of the instructions for communion. So you know what they have. Uh, a few commented, they 
kind of forgot about, so he didn't have the uh, bread and wine handy for the for that time in, in the service. So uh, put a note out and remind everyone that that's uh, what we need and that's happening not this Sunday, but it's from Sunday. Take care. Thanks. That's great, Pastor Don. So it's 10 to 12 at night, right? That's when you want us to call you? Sure. 10, no. <laughs> oh, in the morning. Oh, I was already. I was going to give you a 10 call. 10 to 12. Uh, you can call, but I'll be sleeping 10 to 12. All right. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. Now, directly from the happiest place on earth, Patricia's hat. Patricia, share some things with us. Yeah. So um, I've been attending the coffee hours, and at one of the coffee hours, they everybody ended up wearing hats. And I thought it was such a cool idea that so for this meeting, all the staff, we all agreed that we tend to wear hats too. So um, I've been really depressed lately because the man's closed for forever, but not forever, but long enough for, for me to be sad about it. And um, anyway, but we'll get there. And, um, but I wanted to definitely share uh, the excitement I have for the art fair, the virtual art fair that'll be happening June 7th. Uh, Tom talked about it on Sunday and Hella put together a little mini video of a sample of the community art project. And what she knew was basically a Kleenex box that you can collage with the theme, using the theme, um, Dimensions of Friendship. Uh, and that's just an example of what you can use. Just uh, use your creative juices during this extra time. And we look forward to seeing them. We're hoping to, that you all send in pictures and we can see them in the virtual art fair uh, by May 20th. Um, so we'll keep on reminding you of all this. And keep well and safe and we all miss you guys. That sounds lovely, Patricia. I can't wait for that art fair. So a common theme that I hopefully you heard through us is that we get it. We understand how tough it is to be in the positions that we're in right now. And we really are committed to do life together with you guys. So um, reach out to us. Keep reaching out to your friends and your family and those around you. Um, find ways to be creative about having routine and looking for things that are positive because uh, those things are all around us. And uh, one of the opportunities maybe during this time as we pause a little bit is that we can take the time to actually see some of those things. So have a great rest of your week. Uh, it was great to be with you and uh, adios. Bye.